what was going. Hey everybody, it's Jeff Featherfin, one two three one two here. Welcome you guys back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin Two. In the last episode, we had anger, and in this episode, hopefully, we won't have more anger. Uh. I'm just gonna make yellows. I sh uh, no, I have plenty of blues. Now where's the gold? Here it isn't glint. Yeah, I saved you for last for a reason. I knew he had the treasure, so I figured it was better to get the guys that might actually disappear first and get the one that ha is required to stay afterward. <sighs> Lost gyro block. Okay. Because I know what's coming, in fact, I know he's coming in the next one, I'm cloning this potion. The purples I don't need to clone, but this one I'm absolutely cloning. Can we have Olimar in charge, please? I don't feel good with how low President's health is. I always need the two captains when doing big fights, because I need one of them to stay behind and make sure everyone else is safe, and one of them to go forth. Oh, God, I don't want to fight this right now. Not with the bad luck I've been having today. But I'm going to... <clears throat> oh, geez, I don't even know what's a good spot. You see that, right? It's, it is that thing. Again. This time surrounded by water. So, uh... You know what Pikmin I'm bringing in? I'm just keeping you back here in the hopes that you're, you'll be fine. Oh shit. Honestly, don't care. I just want it dead. I have tons of these potions. Okay. 
It's dead. Cool. And I'm even getting one of those potions back. Some of you might think that was cheap, and I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I don't even care. Actually, I'm gonna... I don't need this many potions. I'm not gonna bother playing it. That was the... F Honestly, out of every single fight in this whole game, the only... I believe I was dreading that one the most. Because fighting him in the subterranean complex is hard enough. And in the subterranean complex, you can use purples. And yes, you can set things up so that you can still use purples here, but... It's not as easy and you have to worry about the water, whereas... Yeah. But... I honestly, like, I know I've said this a lot, but whether or not it would be cheap the way that I killed him, I don't care. I have a million purple potions. I, I'm i just happy he's dead. Alright, I know exactly what floor this is. And I know what's going to be on this floor. Somewhere. Oh. That thing saved itself. There's a lot of dweebles here. You know what? I'm just gonna leave Prezi and all Pikmin. And I'm just gonna take these dweebles out myself. I'm immune to what they can do. I know what's coming. And it looks like it's gonna be coming soon. It's not a huge deal. There you are. Hello, BD Long Legs. I should have waited to summon him until I was done killing all of the weevils. He, I, I think he killed the weevil. I'm actually grateful to the times when you guys attack while I'm trying to kill you because it takes a minute for you to attack and it does nothing to me when you do. And since you guys pick up the bodies of your compatriots, it just means I have to do more damage to you when you guys do that, so... Oh! The water ones do damage to me. That's good to know. I still took damage, game! Come on! You know I wasn't in that. Dead. Just this guy who does nothing to me, and the blue guy that I actually have to be careful with. Then all the dweevils are dead. He's dead. Guys! How hard is it to actually separate when I say separate? Like, I literally told you to separate and then, like, a third of you just said, nah. want to fight you with blues. But I will. But the moment you get out of that water, I'm switching to purples. Oh, God! The one time he breaks... Oh, 
I, I hate. What are you even shaking off? Nothing was on you. Also, I really should not be doing this as president. I would say it's close enough to being on land now. Guys, I'm aware that I threw you, but is it really that hard to avoid? Guys! God damn it! Okay. Next chance I get to throw Pikmin should be his demise. He's dead. Thank God. Okay. Okay, here's the gyro block. Note that this was the uh, 14th floor, and I said this cave had 15. Can you just go stand by the exit? to the final floor of this cave. Sorry. You'll probably find that uh, this is actually one of the easiest floors in the entire cave. Because in it is one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. I shouldn't say that, considering... The Bull Blacks floor. The two em the the two Bull Blackses, which are supposed to be uh, the easiest enemies in the game, were the hardest two floors for me. Granted, I had a lot of trouble with the Pileated Snagret, a lot more than I did the first time I fought the damn thing. Uh, and I would have had trouble with the man at legs if I hadn't cheesed it a bit. Just kill the jelly floats before I worry about the boss. Really?
<clears throat> Can you kill it? I believe that was successful. And now there's one more. Then I'm going to use one of the nectars. Jelly floats are dead. God, I wish purple leaves were, like, not slow. Okay. Come on, guys. Now that you actually have some modicum of speed, I'm going to first summon him myself. Meet the Raging Long Legs. He has very large feet, but uh, he also has a very large torso. The best you can get is if you can get him stuck in a very Slow loop. Ah! Uh. Um. Um. I don't. I have five purples, and I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should be going and getting reds or something else or if I should just keep I'm just gonna keep going they'll be able to take him out it's just gonna take a while god I've lost so many purples in this cave tongue 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 I forgot there were three Okay, we'll be good for a while. Why am I not surprised that I lost Pikmin to a boss I don't typically lose Pikmin to in this run? That just seems to be my frickin' pattern, which is exactly what you want to see I never agreed with the concept of the Let's Play curse. And I think this playthrough is showing me that the Let's Play curse is real. Because the first time I fought the Man at Legs and the Pileated Snagret, the two bosses that I would consider actually difficult in this game, I had an easy, a super easy time with it for some reason. But fighting bosses that are quite literally the easiest bosses in the entire game I'm losing tons of Pikmin to. It doesn't make sense. Also, that's one of the heaviest treasures in the entire game. Most treasures don't take that many Pikmin. Olimar, please. Thank you. Pikmin, please. Thank you. <sighs> Remembered old buddy. I'm just gonna leave now. That was the whole of Heroes, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I missed a trick. Okay, good. <sighs> 16 Pikmin. Luckily, I believe this is the only one that has a bunch of boss rematches. 
the other two um, have difficult floors, but I don't think they have any boss rematches. So anyway... I'm just going into each of these caves with 20 of each, rather than trying to plan out a good layout for caves that are this huge. I'd rather just go in with 20 of each. And into the Cavern of Chaos we go. Lovely. God! No, I'm not allowing that. That was just unfair. They just decided to attack an electric fence for no reason. I really wish Pikmin wouldn't do that. Like, is it really that hard... Normally, I wouldn't have reset over two Pikmin being lost, but, like, this is quite literally the beginning of both the sub-level, or of the sub- of the cave and the sub-floor, and I'm just like, no. I need you guys to not do that. Because I need to go by myself and take out bombs. Okay, I was hopeful, and it worked out. And the last thing I want to have happen while I'm taking out bombs is, uh... Pikmin killing themselves on electrical hazards. Oh, that thing activated itself. I'm just gonna kill you myself. there had to be at least a couple more bombs. Okay. For now. Yellows. Okay. Alright, at least the electrical hazards are gone. Also, well, I guess we have some more, but uh, the terrifyingly located electrical hazards are gone. Also, I kind of think these might be the only two treasures on this floor. Oh, God. Another one? Yup. I know they'll probably carry it past the bomb in time. I'd just rather be safe. There's no reason not to be. Mirth Sphere. And what we have here... ...is the Enamel Buster. That is the last treasure of this floor. You know what? Screw these guys, they can live. We're, we're leaving. <clears throat> God. Let's see what's going to be facing us in the next episode, shall we?
Because, you know, this room isn't terrifying, but it's not... It doesn't look like it'll be actually that bad. Uh, well, kind of is, but I also have plenty of sprays, so, uh... In the next episode, we'll do this floor and continue the Cavern of Chaos. See you guys for that. Goodbye.